STEM Week has allowed us to find a way to focus middle school students on the future in a much more effective way than anything we've ever tried before. This is hands-on, where they walk out of a room going, I could do this. When we had the kids dive into the activity, they just went for it. They didn't want to stop. They just kept going the whole afternoon, and they wanted more time. They were really engaged with each other and with the materials, trying to come to something that they wanted to display. STEM Week um, is about being creative and learning more about yourself. It's great seeing the students engaged. For a teacher, it makes our job easier when they're engaged, they're asking questions, they're having fun. It's a win-win. Can you get it to break up like the Big Bang and separate out? Oh my God! Okay, stop! Not that there's less work, it's just that the work is more fun and it's more hands-on stuff and I personally love hands-on stuff like that. The hands-on activity is huge because it's not until they get their hands dirty with something that they really start understanding what the questions are. This program uh, has allowed many of my teachers to step outside of their silo. Good teachers can teach anything with proper support and training. I think a lot of teachers, especially teachers uh, from outside science and engineering, they were a little skeptical at first. They were apprehensive, anxious about stepping out of their comfort zone. Is it possible to adjust the height on the wall? This week, it's really been uh, a great transformation that we've seen a lot of teachers really engaged. They, they're in it and, and they're doing a great job. Being a non-science teacher, a, coming from a phys ed background, if you're being asked to do this, don't be afraid to do it. I think that kind of helps to show a lot of the students about the staff and the teachers that they're working with when they're willing to, to go outside that comfort zone with them and be willing also in front of the students to say, I don't necessarily know that answer, let's find it together. Failure is okay. It's important to fail in order to have your learning progress and, and to do a better job at anything. As I walked through classrooms in these first three days, I would hear, I can't, maybe I can, hey, I did, over and over and over. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Students have so much potential that we really haven't even tapped into. And one of the things we wanted to do this, this week was to help kids to recognize that. Every classroom that I walked into, the kids were focused, they were engaged, they were having great conversations. They were talking to one another about the content and kind of deliberating and making decisions together. They were really proud of what they did. I never knew I could make a water filter, and then it turns out I can drink, I can make drinkable water. If a teacher is considering um, having a STEM week, I would just say jump right in, because it is going to be a life-changing experience for our students and our teachers here. The kids learned so much, the teachers learned so much, the collaboration was a blast. One thing I would remember for the rest of my life about STEM week was how learning can be fun. Stand with ha sido para mí una experiencia increíble y bonita. It's a blast. I, I recommend it to anyone else. The best thing about this week for me is that I know as an educator, I have planted seeds that will not come to fruition for five, 10, or 15 years, but I know there's something growing. And I can go home every night knowing that we did the very best we could for kids this week.